In Indonesia, October 20th will mark one year anniversary of Mr. Joko Widodo's presidency. He became president with high hopes for radical economic reforms and better economic growth. But so far, reforms have been very slow and economic growth is slower even. And he is about to lose market confidence both abroad and domestically. Stock prices are probably a symbol. They are traded about 10% lower than the beginning of this year. And Indonesian rupiah, the country's currency, is traded at a historically low level. What are these indicators telling about the Indonesian economy? Jakarta is notorious for its terrible congestion. It sometimes takes more than three hours from the airport to the center of the city. There is no express trains, there are no subways. The country desperately needs infrastructure. President Jokowi promised to accelerate infrastructure building, but it is not an easy task. For example, the subway project in the heart of the city took more than 30 years to start construction work. And there is a talk of delay of start of the service. President Jokowi promised a lot of reform policies and encouraged his cabinet members to put out reform policies as well. But it turned out to be those ministers put out a rather strange policies. For example, they suddenly banned sales of beer at convenience store that depressed sales of beer company. So basically it seems that Jokowi needs to change how the country is run by his own government. And it's taking some time. And while he's taking some time, the economy is slowing down. And it's affecting voters' support. We got onto the streets and asked some questions to citizens. Masalahnya kabut asap di Riau itu sampai sekarang makin tebal makin tebal. Belum ditangani. Iya, belum ditangani juga. Kalau ekonomi? Ekonomi ya kerja mungkin. Seperti itulah. Lebih. Lebih sulit. Makin sulit sepertinya. Apalagi semenjak dolar naik semakin On the streets of Jakarta, people are still struggling with congestions and slow work of public projects. If President Jokowi takes too much time for reforms and building infrastructure in this country, he might use up all his political capital before too long. Reporting from Jakarta, Ken Koyanagi for Nikkei Asian Review.